Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at GS, JPM, BAC, and DB. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, looking for a new broker? Check out VenomTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. Best in the business been using them for years give them a call tell them stock bookie sent you all right guys goldman sachs daily chart four million on the day 0.74 percent red a dollar 73 down on the day so looking at the charts <clears throat> we have a trend line down here which that that's that's way out but big support at the three or two 213 area and then the 209.65 and you got a couple gaps to fill down in here. I do like the 193. I like the gap down here at 181. But first things first, let's see how this thing sets up. What we've been watching though, you know, just like when the stocks go up, go up, retrace, go up, retrace, go up, retrace, all time highs, retrace, all time highs, so on and so forth. Now this one's starting to go down, retrace, down, retrace, down, retrace. Good support down in here don't get me wrong we had the 618 750 holding that one strong but next big area we're going to be looking at there's a couple gap fills down here but right now holding strong but below the moving averages why aren't these the leading ones why aren't the banks leading guys goldman jpm bank of america deutsche bank which that one's just a complete turd but uh, why aren't these leading? The markets are so strong. These should be at the top, guys. So again, retrace comes back in. Good support down in here. Goldman cracks this 224 area. We're going to be filling this gap and coming down in this area around the 212. If it continues rolling, we will be filling gaps as this thing comes in. Big area for me I like is around the 170 or so. And, and around the 200. I do like that area too. Let's look at the weekly real quick. I like the two. I like this area because we're right here. We got the 200 moving average, which you know has been target for you know almost two years. It hasn't touched, but here's this low trend line too as well. That's a big one down in here, but still still think we get bounces unless the whole market's falling apart and everything's you know just bleeding. So watch for this area too, the 217, 212, and of course the 20371 down in here. But great support here. We'll see if it. If, I would love a retrace up into this area. And then uh, we'd actually write calls. We are short Goldman Sachs. A little bit out of the money on this one, but uh, so far so good. This thing comes in. We'll be getting paid soon. So could not get past above this uh, trend line up on top. And that trend line just comes from this high back in 2015. Goes through here. Cuts there. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Finally just couldn't do it. So got a bunch of bulls on board. Probably an upgrade. Probably uh, um <clears throat> what else earnings everything double upgrade buyback and it still couldn't get going why aren't the financials leading hmm interesting guys just tech just buy tech don't worry just like 2000 just like 2000 guys in 2008 it's different this time remember so we're holding this good area support let's see if we get back up we are below the ma's here still above the 200 so still okay but man gets it back into here We'll get interested in this thing, writing some calls or doing something else, or probably maybe even buying some puts. But again, I'm short shares on Goldman Sachs. All right, let's get into JPM. I want to do the banks. I haven't done the banks in a long time. And again, it's, it's pretty much the same scenario. Made new, new highs in the beginning of the year and just can't get it going. Comes down inside bar. Can't get above this area right around 115.09. Every time it does, comes back in, tries again, comes back in, falls apart, gets down in here, holds retraces comes right back in uh, last week let's go to the daily I'll go back to the uh, to the month or to the weekly but I want to show you on the daily what's going on too so we just made a high lower high lower high kind of the trends coming in if we would if we would have breached this top and got, got through then they have that little trends going but as long as we don't breach this line and if you're trying to short JPM you're doing okay it hit the 200 MA, hit the 200 MA, you have real big support down in this area, guys. Even going all the way to 103.98, all the way down here to the 95, and then the 100 even number area, too, is going to be great support. And the buy the dip mentality is still in these markets, guys. It's like buy the dip, and next thing you know, you're up 17 points, and it comes back in. But this is, you know, channeling from the, I don't look. 
it's channeling in this pennant. <clears throat> I don't like the symmetry off that, but you got to pick it from the low pivot through this pivot, and then look where we go. They try to get it right above. So watch this line. Watch the 200 MA going to the upside. The 618 at about 113.72, and you have the trend line too. You get above this trend line, then we could start knocking out these pivots as well. So, right now, JPM still doing okay. Little bit, um, you know, just choppy up and down action. But again, 105 to 110, $10 moves, 10% moves up and down here. It's insane. Let's go to the weekly. Weekly, same thing. We close right on below that. Uh, this trend line down in here but uh, we'll, we'll see what this thing does I want to see let's see if we go out a little further bring that up yeah we'll keep it at that I mean well once it starts coming in we have a huge gap fill right around 88 bucks we have a nice low pivot with a gap fill right around the 95 bucks and uh, just chopping but as long as we stay inside this bar and chop that's setting up for lower prices guys it's got to get above the 115.09 and then I think we can make all-time highs if it can't stays in, uh, in this bar markets get a little bit weak we'll, we will be going and testing this 95 hundred dollar area Guarantee, guys. Still the 50 MA at the, uh, where's that one? 104.02. But um, let's see what this thing does. Some nice consolidation at the highest, guys. Below the 20. A little bit weak. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? You had 26 million on the day, right? 26 million. 0.12% down or 13 cents flat on the day. <laughs> so no great shakes for JPM on a, you know, decent up and down day. But Options X, people were, uh, you know, making, uh, Equities go wherever they needed to go to make money, basically, the big boys. Uh, let's go to BAC. And that really, JPM is the real Bank of America. So same thing with this one, guys. Let's go to the uh, daily here. So daily, same thing like JPM. You got the pennant. You just got up and down. We make the high. Then we make this lower one. This one, almost, this one got breached, but bam, right back in. So... We'll connect it from here as long as that line's intact guys if we got above it was like oh everyone here it goes and then right back in everyone's face to the lower area of the uh, of the channel I mean a pen it and then you also have a channel here coming off these lows up and down up and down right now we are holding just like JPM 200 MA gap fill low area of the channel and let's see if this thing holds I mean look at the volume too someone came in I was like oh my gosh save the day save the day if we save these and we even filled the guy. I mean, great support down here, guys. But coming off this little pivot high, I'd like to see more. I'd like to see it come off of like a high like this and go right into it. This kind of dribbled into this area. Still got the bounce. Still got a little doji. Let's see if this thing bounces. If you want to go long in these bank names, this, you could take it here. But if it starts getting below these 28.47, what's this? Blood? The green line, 28.60. 2874 starts knocking at those doors. You better step aside. Is off this down sideways. I'll show you on the weekly a little bit better. But if the, even this trend line, if that cracks, then we are definitely going lower. And it's probably we're going to probably retest this area 2758 and then 2583. And then there's some big gaps down here around 23 bucks, 25 bucks, and 2513. So, gosh, banks are weak. Why, why aren't these leading? These should be leading, not lagging. Come on, guys. But the weekly, let's see, what do we have? 100 million on this one? Yeah, this one trades 100 million. 0.75% down, 22 cents down on the day. So volume wasn't bad. But this one, this one you can see the inside bar a little bit better. As long as you're inside this bar, look at this, chop, chop, chop. That's bearish. Even though we're above the 50 and the 200, it's a little bit bearish. We get back above the 20 and back above this main trend line, then we might talk about all-time highs again. But again, why isn't this market... Why isn't why aren't these leading the market? Especially JPM. Goldman Sachs, eh, but JPM, that should be at the highs as well. So keep an eye on these names, guys. Great inside bar. It's got it's got I've seen these so many times though in the last two years just fail. So next thing you know, the volume disappears, and next thing you know, this is going up. So if it cannot make it above this big inside bar and it cracks these areas, then we'll most likely be going down to this 2583. Then this pivot here around 25 bucks. If the markets start to go, then we'll be going to 20 bucks or wherever the 200 MA is on the weekly chart. 
follow that one guys right now we are following weekly closes because if you're you know you get three days of upside on a daily and it looks like a stock's breaking out and all of a sudden it turns around in the next two days and comes right back in it's like whoa wait a minute here i thought this was a breakout and actually it was a fake out and then they plowed it back down so watch for that watch for this to play out if we do close down in this area and get below the 50 we will be going testing this low here around 25.89 all right, and DB, this one, guys, I, I, I can't believe they're not talking about this one more. This is big. This one can't even get out of its own way, guys. Look at this in 2006 and seven, Straight down, tried to recover, came right back in, broke down. Now we're just chopping at the lows again. If this one gets to the $10, maybe even $9 area, I will possibly get interested in it. It is still holding this pivot here right around 11.15, but barely. I think it's destined for 10, maybe 9. If it does hit that, we might think about taking a small long trade on this. They can't have this one. This is terror. This is bad, guys. This isn't good. Here's your low pivots. Look at this. Straight up, straight down, straight up. Dribbles it down. Comes in, chops, and then goes right down. No one's talking about this. Couple guys on stock twits actually, but let's see what happens. See if we get down to this trend line. If it does, you know, we'll be following again like the weekly on this. It might flush it through the weekly, but click over and come right back up. This one's looking good though. That's the monthly. Daily chart, same thing. Look what they did. They did a little bottoming tail, huge volume. Oh, man, this is it. This is the reversal. They bring it up, and look, they bring it right back down. So they're going to try to hold it. I'd say we get one day right around the 10 bucks, and maybe even 9.50, and then maybe we get the launch. Weak position, downtrend, just terrible. Just terrible. Look at this. Down, sideways, down. A little bit of rechase, down again, sideways, down again, sideways. Wow, eventually this will catch a bid. And remember, guys, the turds will get a bid eventually one day. They just do. And when this turd gets a bid, <laughs> just like Twitter and the rest of them, this one will go up again. I mean, look at this. When it was here, we were talking about this area too. And look, went to freaking $20, $10 move. Chopped around, chopped around, chopped around, came right back in. So money managers that need to make money, they're going to step into this one and buy it. They did already, I believe, with this volume. But this is kind of the head fake. Let's do it. Let's shake them out a little bit. Bring it below here. Let's see if we could get the 10 and then get the bounce. So we'll be looking at that trade on stockbookie.com. I'll show some Larias and, and what I'm really looking, you know, $10, $9. But we'll see when this thing comes back and how it retraces down if it does. And then we'll be looking for a long in this one. But my gosh, what a turd. Let's look at the yearly on this just to see. Because we've been looking at those high flyers. Look at this one, guys straight up straight down click still going down wow that's pretty incredible guys the volume on this one not the best 4.6 million 1.07 percent red 12 cents down on a day look at that one percent for 12 cents if we do a position or a trade in this one we will be going small you don't buy 50,000 shares of this 100,000 shares of this you, if you can handle a thousand, buy a thousand. If this goes down five bucks, that's a five thousand dollar loss. If you can't afford that, go five hundred. If this thing moves two, three, four bucks, you make two grand. You get the heck out. You could take the trade here, but I think this is going to be a shakeout first, and then a, then a, then it goes. If it does, if it doesn't do that, it starts to go. Then I most likely won't be in it. Or you could play it where it's fallen. If it closes below the all time low, you. Well, I still like that ten dollar area, so I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna. I would love it to at least come to ten fifty. I'll add there if it gets to uh, ten bucks, nine fifty. I'll do one more, couple thousand shares. Try to get a couple bucks out of it. I'll be done with this one, guys. All right. So, the moral of this story for these four uh, banks, guys, is just they're they're this especially this one. They're they're weak. They're not leading. We have to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. Going into earnings, of course, and I think that's what everyone's gonna wait for. That one push going into uh, July or the uh, second half of the year. See if it's going to be good. Might be mediocre, but uh, earnings will be leading off come July, and we'll see how these uh, these high flyers end up. Not these so much, but the other ones such as the Amazons, the Facebooks, the Googles, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one today. Um, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.